Namaste viewers, welcome to Gita Sarma's home style cooking. Today's recipe is delicious yet easy to make. With few ingredients, I'll make fluffy crispy puri and aloo tarkari or potato curry. Let's cook together. I will start with making dough for puri. For this, I have taken 200 grams of wheat flour. Into it, I will add half teaspoon of salt. 1 teaspoon of nigella seed or black cumin 1 teaspoon of semolina which will make puri fluffy and crispy and 1 tablespoon of ghee which is clarified butter mix it well Add water little by little to knead the dough which should neither be too stiff nor too soft. Knead it well until it becomes a smooth dough. Put some ghee on it and apply it all over. Cover it and let the dough rest for about 15 minutes. Until the dough is resting, I will make aloo tarkari or potato curry. In a well heated pan, I will add 2 tablespoons of oil. Let the oil become hot. I will add half teaspoon of fenugreek seed. Once it starts crackling, I'll add two whole dried chilies. Next, I will add one medium sized finely chopped onion. Saute the onion until it becomes light brown. Once it becomes light brown, I will add half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, and one and half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix it well. Now I will add two medium sized finely chopped Mix it well again. Saute it and let it cook for 5 minutes. Finally add 3 medium sized boiled potatoes cut into medium sized pieces. Gently mix it so masala coats each pieces of potatoes. I'll put 2 teaspoons of cumin and coriander powder. Cover it and let it cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I will add salt as required. Mix it well. Add one cup of water for gravy. Let it cook for five minutes. Our delicious potato curry or aloo tarkari is ready now. It's time to turn off the flame. Let's make puris. I will divide the dough into equal size balls. Take one ball, flatten it, apply some ghee on it, 
roll puri into thick round shape. heated oil in a deep pan to fry the puri but it should not be smoking hot take the rolled puri and drop it into hot oil Here we have our fluffy and crispy puri. Time to plate the dish. You can enjoy this puri and tarkari as a breakfast or as a snacks. Believe me, you would love preparing this recipe and enjoying it with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video with a new recipe.